base camp, home away from home, a place where expeditions begin and end for those who dare to journey. My New Mexican base camp lies just east of the Sandia Mountains along the storied Route 66, the town of Moriarty and the Sunset Motel. Over the last four decades, I've made dozens of trips to the land of enchantment, family and friends in tow, and nearly every day begins and ends at the sunset. Experiences beyond our senses Experiences that not only move us, but transform the way we see our world are indeed enchanting. This land of mountains, deserts, plateaus, and deep canyons, and the diverse cultures that inhabit it, they enchant me. They focus me and keep me oriented. I've journeyed Route 66 and its side roads hundreds of miles to see them all. Interesting that a southerner would find so much in the distant southwest. But it's true. New Mexico is my benchmark. And Moriarty, my base camp. Originally, Route 66 zigzagged northeast along the Santa Fe Trail and then dipped south to Albuquerque. At some point, a political brouhaha resulted in a major reorientation from north-south to east-west. Route 66 then became New Mexico's first completely paved highway. Today, the iconic route can be reached by car, train, air, bus, and of course, by foot. It matters not how you get there, just get there. One of my first journeys to New Mexico brought me in from the northeast. We arrived to warm, dry weather and skies so clear it seemed we could see the entire state. For me, it was love at first sight. I was captured, enthralled, enchanted. Like so many thousands before me, I felt embraced by the great openness, the history, sense of spirituality, and cultural diversity. Over the years, my sense of security and amazement in this land has never faded, not the least. Indeed, there are places where the earth seems to concentrate its strength. For me, that place is New Mexico. The spirit of outdoor adventure renews us and strengthens relationships when we share it with others. Our group of men, women, and children explored the Pecos wilderness. We began our trek at the Cowles camping area. The trails to Stewart Lake and Santa Fe Baldy give one a new sense of freedom that is exciting to explore. You become aware of God's varied, beautiful, and bountiful handiwork in this vast wilderness. Back to base camp for some well-deserved rest and refreshment. Then off again to a new destination, Santa Fe, one of the oldest cities in the United States. The plaza was the terminus of the Santa Fe Trail. Under the shaded porch of the Palace of Governors, Artists from pueblos across New Mexico have been selling their crafts to visitors from around the world for nearly a century. Over the years, we have rolled off Route 66 onto its tributaries, journeying time and again across this enchanted landscape and engaging its endearing people. Twenty-three American Indian tribes inhabit New Mexico, each with their own culture and tradition. Among the vast Indian population are over 100,000 members of the Navajo Nation, many of whom performed great service to our nation in World War II as code talkers. Along the way, we have visited some of the oldest and most iconic villages, 
pueblos, and churches. One of my personal favorites is Taos. Taos has been inhabited by the hardy souls of the Tiwa tribe for over a thousand years. The first chapel was built around 1627 and later destroyed during both the Pueblo Revolt and the Mexican-American War. The bell tower has been restored. The solemn graves of the dead scatter among the wall ruins, marked with crosses that face the sacred Taos Mountains, emblematic of the way Native American spirituality adapted to Christian influence. Acoma Pueblo, one of the oldest continuously inhabited towns in the United States, now has fewer than 30 people living on the beautifully hewn mesa which rises above the plain. Among the many adobe structures is the San Esteban del Rey Mission, built in 1629. Another short jaunt off Route 66 up the high road to Taos is Chimayo and its famous El Santuario de Chimayo. Pilgrims come from far and wide to scoop a handful of the sacred healing dirt from a small pit adjacent to the chapel. I was moved by the sight of crosses, large and small, all around the mission, each one representing the prayers of a pilgrim. At Nambe Pueblo, we enjoyed a delicious meal and great hospitality at the invitation of tribal leaders. Turning back south along the old Santa Fe Trail, we visited San Miguel Mission, located in Socorro. Just up the turquoise trail from base camp are two fun places to visit. Madrid, a former company-owned mining village, has transformed over the years into a quiet conclave of creative and celebrated artists, hippies, and eccentrics. Also, Tinker Town, fun, whimsical, and mesmerizing. Its magic can be seen in the eyes of a young child. Coast Ranch explodes with color, grandeur, and sprawling vistas. Beauty can't be captured, but it can be reflected. And Georgia O'Keeffe did just that in hundreds of paintings, using Ghost Ranch as both studio and subject. Close to Taos is the Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. Over many millennia, the river and seismic activity slowly sliced the 800-foot gorge in which the Rio Grande now flows. One of our newest national monuments, it was established by President Obama in 2013. Albuquerque is only a short drive along Route 66 from Base Camp Moriarty. Slip through the Sandia Mountains and the kaleidoscope reveals new and exciting patterns. The Indian Pueblo Cultural Center offers inspiring accounts of rebellions against often brutal and heavy-handed missionaries to reclaim native lands. In the edge of an ancient field just west of Albuquerque, we wandered among thousands of petroglyphs on basalt slabs. Estimated to be 400 to 700 years old, the etchings serve as a photo album of sorts of a culture long gone. Walking on the black rock and stopping to take in these small works of art, I had a genuine sense of the spirit of my ancestors. Petroglyph National Monument is a powerful reminder of the importance of protecting nature and history. Whether it is local Indian tribes, the state and federal government, or committed volunteers, New Mexicans have done a great job in preserving and protecting this valuable history and irreplaceable natural resources. The Sandia Peak Tramway, the world's longest, rises almost two miles above sea level. 
From its mountaintop terminal, the Kiwanis cabin was used for shelter by the workers while building the tramway. All around are spectacular views of Albuquerque and the Lower Plains. Probably the most well-known annual event in New Mexico is the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, which brings participants and observers like me from around the world. The renowned Albuquerque box is created by the steep mountains and adjacent river bottom. Ideal weather and the topography cause opposing wind directions at various altitudes that allow the balloons to travel back and forth. But from the ground, all that basic aviation is lost on the viewer. Your eyes are drawn to a feast of color and depth making its way into the morning sky. New Mexico has always been attractive to filmmakers, but in recent years, the movie industry has become a growing and vital economic influence in the state. Netflix is now headquartered here, and Governor Grisham is pursuing bold initiatives to put more New Mexicans to work in cinema. More than a mile above sea level and east of the Sandia Range, Moriarty is home to the Albuquerque Soaring Club. Located at the airport and across the street from base camp, you can ride the thermals in a sail plane from Moriarty to Pikes Peak and back. All of us enjoy the world in different ways. For me, the proximity to world-class fishing, hunting, and stargazing. The more you visit a place, the more it feels like home. And so it is with Moriarty and its famous highway. During our many visits to Moriarty, we have seen various slices of life that evolve around and pass through the small town. Personal interaction and old-fashioned values, the diversity of humanity, and how time changes some things while others stand firm and constant. Corridors of travel change. Businesses come and go. Many of the towns along the way with their restaurants, gas stations, and motor courts no longer exist. Time and circumstance slowly buried the Mother Road and some of its history in the desert. But significant sections of the route, its songs and stories, the legends of bygone times and hopes for a new horizon, all still exist along Route 66 and in Moriarty itself. The hope is palpable. I don't feel like I'm visiting a dying culture, but one being reborn to meet a new day. Whiting Brothers will still service your vehicle. Beautiful murals remind us of a famous road and also attract those who will form its future. Icons like the Midway Trading Post, the Red Top Valentine Diner, both sustain the spirit of Route 66. The singing highway with its rumble strips playing America the Beautiful represents creativity in the most mundane of things. I'm still experiencing new things and always leave breathless and grateful. None of us knows the future, but for my living days, Base Camp Moriarty and Route 66 
still hold far more that I long to behold. I've traveled to New Mexico more times than I can recall, yet my sense of surprise and magic never subsides. I can be alone here, away from everyday life. Here, I'm allowed to dream with my eyes open. Thank you.